بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم علمی لیٹر ٹو ریمبرنس اینڈ مائنڈ فلنیس مائی ڈیئر علمی فرینڈس یا علی مدد ان ٹوڈیز ماڈرن ورلڈ اے لاٹ آف ایمفیسس از گیون آن بیکمنگ مائنڈ فل ون شوڈ بی مائنڈ فل آف ہز سراؤنڈنگس تھاٹس بریدنگ اینڈ آل ادر باڈیلی سینسیشنس دس از ٹو کیپ ون سیلف کام peaceful and protected from getting wrapped up in doing things that may lead to anxious feelings. Someone feeling anxious on a constant basis can lead one to be unwell either physically, emotionally, and or mentally. USA National Survey in 2012 has shown that 62% of college students who withdrew from college were experiencing mental health problems, that is, anxiety disorders. Anxiety disorders are getting very common from children to adults in all walks of life in today's high-paced society. Thus, there is an emphasis on becoming mindful in order to be conscious of one's thoughts and its reaction to one's mind, body, and soul. Different people, according to their beliefs, influences, and exposures have sought to different treatments and or therapies. For example, laughing therapy, different types of breathing exercises, yoga, and recitation of mantra, etc. In Ismaili Tariqa, it is truly believed that if one goes to Jamaat Khana regularly, all the issues of worldly life will be overcome. However, there are some Jamaati members who go to Jamaat Khana twice a day but still feel a void, lack of fulfillment and anxiety in their lives. Some Jamaati members have sought to attend different workshops offered on breathing therapy by Hindu monks or watch their programs on TV on regular basis to find peace, to become mindful, or to better concentrate in their meditation during Nurani time. Ismailis are blessed with Hadith Qudsi, known as Dua'e Nade Ali, to call upon Mola Ali, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This dua is as follows Nade Ali un majr al ajaib tajitu an laka fin nawaib kullamin wargamin sanjali bi walaitika ya ali ya ali Call Ali he is able to bring about the extraordinary you will find him an effective supporter in all calamities all worries and sorrows will soon disappear on account of your authority O Ali O Ali, in Ismaili Tariqa of Islamic faith, Momin is taught to stay in constant remembrance and call upon Mushkil Kusha, that is, Mola Ali alayhi wasallam, for all difficulties. Let it be physical, spiritual, and intellectual. In this dua, Kullu Hamin, meaning all worries of future, are resolved and Wagamin, meaning pain, or sorrows of past are mended. In other words, uncertainties and or anxieties about future are vanished and all the pain and or sufferings of past leading someone to be sad, depressed is washed out of one's heart by Mola Ali alayhi wasallam, the savior of all, subhanallah. It has been witnessed in some Jamaati members that peace is sought elsewhere when efforts at remembrance and attendance of Jamaat Khana doesn't help in overcoming the vacant of anxious feelings. Hazri Imam sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said that Islam is not a faith only of rote. It is a faith of the intellect and it is a faith of individual search. Any religious practice which is done mechanically, 
without understanding it fully will not provide its benefit to the fullest. Hazrat Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah Salwadullah Alehi has mentioned in his Farman that Hazrat Isa Alehi Wasallam changes his route when he sees a man coming towards him. Later on, his companion asked that he doesn't seem to fear a fierce lion approaching him. Why would he fear a simple man? Hazrat Isa alayhi wasallam replies that man was an ignorant nadan therefore he changed his route a person without intellect is an ignorant and lives in darkness which equals to fear worries distress anxiety and depression these farmans highlight the importance of intellect in our faith which results in knowledge and recognition Marfat. It cannot be replaced only by saying dua, tasbiyat, or even doing innumerable prostration, sujood. The Holy Quran calls those people as cattle who follow religion without intellect. Surah 7 by 179. Some of us go to Jamaat Khana on a regular basis and follow all the rituals mimicking our parents without understanding or asking questions on why do we do these rituals. This is called following of physical deen by Hazrat Imam Aga Sultan Muhammad Shah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Meritocracy is something we strive for according to farmans of Hazrat Imam. Though we have taken efforts to achieve that in our physical lives, the personal search needed to get the true knowledge to understand our tariqa is still lacking. Hence, the issues of anxiety and depression prevail in our Jamaat. Hazrat Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah Salwatullah Alehi has said that Sufism is based on tariqat, whereas Ismaili faith is based on hakikat. This makes us wonder about four steps of journey in religion Shariat, tariqat, hakikat and marfat. The first step in shariat, it is like a dark night that hides everything in the darkness. An example of this would be a newborn child up to the age of two years who doesn't know anything and depends fully on his mother. The second step is tariqat. This is like having the light of stars during night time. People of book following the path of Sirat al-Mustaqim, are using the light of stars to identify and stay on the path by following the Shariat. A child of 10 years would be a good example of this step. He has gotten the strength from mother's milk, Shariat, to sit, walk, and speak, but he still depends on his mother to guide him. A person seeking advice will not approach this child as he doesn't know the complete truth. The third step is Hakikat. Hakikat is like the light of the moon. This step encompasses the truth. Let it be of religion or tariqa, imam or prophet, farman or Quran, dua or namaz, ginan or ilm. An example of this would be an adult who is in university with clear goals and knowledge of how to achieve those goals. A hakiki moment with full understanding of the true knowledge, ilm hakiki knows how to get to Fanafi Allah by following the set path. The fourth step is Marifat. Marifat being the final step is like the light of the sun at noon, right on the meridian during the day. A time where the reality of everything is visible, nothing can hide, not even a shadow. At this stage, Hakiki Momin experiences the true sense of oneness or mono-reality. Hazrat Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah Salwadullah Alehi has said that the treasure is under your own feet, but you don't move your feet to get to the treasure. In another farman, he says that you walk one step further, then you walk two steps backward, 
then how would you reach at your destination? Our destination is light, Noor, which brings hope, happiness, satisfaction, contentment through complete marifat of imam zaman and ultimately being one with him. Subhanallah. Ismaili faith is an esoteric, batini faith that has a living guide, the Hazar Imam, Salvatullah Alehi, who is present with us on every step of our lives. When Jamaati members in search of peace go elsewhere, then it's like walking backwards on our journey of enlightenment. We are blessed with Imam Zaman, who has shown us how to walk on the right path but it is up to us to follow it. As Hazar Imam says, that his job is to take the horse to the source of water, but he can't force the horse to drink it. It is also important to note that we pray for ease in difficulties, mushkil asan, but not totally resolving it. As Hazrat Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah Salvatullah Alehi has said, Everyone living in this world will be faced with difficulties. But the intelligent one will know how to come out of it. By becoming mindful of our faith and incorporating the true knowledge at every second of our lives, over a period of time, remembrance becomes an automatic process. This person is called Hakiki Momin, who is always happy regardless of his life events as he has submitted his worries and sorrows to his Mawla, Mushkil Kusha, Subhanallah. In remembrance of Allah, all sorrows, worries, and pain vanishes, and it all becomes a source of mercy and happiness. Ya Ali Madad, needy of your prayers. Your Ilmi Friends